One week left to file your 2018 tax returns by the April 15th deadline. Even if you're on a tight deadline, you want to make sure you don't overlook some common tax deductions. CPA Kimberly Washington is here now to help. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for These having me. These are great tips. Let's get right to <laughs> yes. it. Yes. So bad debt expense, like if you if somebody owes you money. Yes. Tell me how it works. So let's say, for instance, if you have an uncle, you let him borrow some money and he didn't pay you back, you may be able to take it as a deduction on a tax return. And a lot of people don't realize this. So it's any amount of money that it was a bona fide loan. It could not have been a gift. And this person has not paid you back. You can take it as a deduction. Now, keep in mind, you have to provide the IRS with some information but it's still something that you should look into. Nice. Um, and you don't really have to prove you did it. Like, for instance, I'm like, don't you have to have like a receipt or something to prove you did it? And you said only if you're audited. Well, when you're audited, of course you need to have it. But I would suggest you do have some backup, mm -hmm. some documentation. So when that case come or anything happens, you want to be well prepared. May pay them in a check. <laughs> That's <laughs> correct. Great. Yes. All right. Uh, if you're an educator and you put all these pretty little things up yes. on your board at school <laughs> and you don't get the money back. Right. So this is a classroom deduction for those teachers from K through 12. And I know they're spending a lot of money. They can actually take it as a deduction on a tax return is up to $250. So this is a great deduction, most often overlooked. It's not a large deduction, but of course it definitely can help you if you're shelling out that cash. SEP IRA and IRA deductions. Yeah, this is a big one right now. If you're a business owner or even if you're an individual and you're working on those taxes right now and you see you have this large tax liability, you can say, hey, I'm going to stop put some money into this retirement account, and then I can take it as a deduction right now up until April 15th, and you still have time right now where you can reduce your taxes, so that's a good one to look into. So any amount of money you can put into the retirement account, and that'll count for you to say, wow, look, I, I did something positive yes, with this. Yes, yes, I've used it as a deduction and it's reducing my taxes. All right, mileage for charity and medical uh, expenses. If you have to drive maybe yes. to Baton Rouge or to Houston yes. to get checkups That's or treatments. Right. Yeah, a lot of people, of course, are traveling different places as it relates to medical. And also when you're volunteering too as well, this could be a deduction for you. Of course, you have to itemize. And we saw this year, a lot of people may not be itemizing mm -hmm. anymore. But if you are, keep in mind, you can take mileage for charity and also when you're going back and forth for medical. So when you're just going to do something nice for someone. Yes. Boom. Yes, that's correct. When you're volunteering. And you hate to do that because you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart, but it helps. Okay, <laughs> yes. tithes and charitable contributions, like if you tithe at church. Yeah, if you tithe at church, of course, you can take it as a deduction. One of the things that people do need to be aware of is that money that you give as a love offering is not deductible. And also the time that you give, you might say, I spent three hours in this worth this amount but you can't take that as a deduction but the amount that you give to your church and to mm -hmm. other organizations you can and then finally if you you have a college student and you're paying right. the college student bills yes you get money back for that that's right American opportunity tax credit that's a big one because it's refundable so it can really help your bottom line and also put some cash back into your pocket too as well so keep that in mind so education expenses for your children for yourself you want to take that as a deduction I wonder how much you get back <laughs> it depends on your situation all right <laughs> thanks Kimberly Washington thank you so These much are great tips yes, you guys thank you it's not not too late it's not all too right. late time now for a check of the forecast with